Welcome to this month's Minute with Victor, where Dr. Cotton answers your questions. This month's question comes from a physician who writes, We recently had a lawsuit in our community that set very bad precedent. The case involved a patient who developed aplastic anemia after receiving an antibiotic. It was an idiosyncratic reaction that wasn't preventable, but the expert witness testified that it could have been avoided by checking a CBC before giving the drug. Of course, there's nothing in the literature to support that, but the jury believed it and the doctor lost. With this case as precedent, am I now required to check a blood count before giving antibiotics? As I said, there's nothing in the literature to support it, but our courts seem to say otherwise. I don't know the details of this case that you had, but it doesn't matter because juries don't set precedent. No jury ever sets precedent. And to demonstrate what that means, I want you to think back a few years to the court case where O.J. Simpson was on trial for murder, and the jury determined that he was not guilty. Now that verdict doesn't apply to anyone but O.J., and it doesn't set precedent. If it did, the next football player who's accused of murder could go before the judge and say, Your Honor, I know what you're thinking, but based upon the precedent set by the Simpson case, I too am not guilty. Now, it doesn't work that way. Juries determine what happened, whether somebody did something or should have done something, and that doesn't set precedent for anything. Precedent is set when a panel of judges, like the United States Supreme Court, issues a ruling. So if the Supreme Court comes out and says, we hereby hold that every patient has a constitutional guarantee to a blood count, then you're going to have to do some CBCs, but what some jury decides somewhere is totally irrelevant to the care of your next patient. The real problem with your case here is that the expert witness said something that wasn't true and misled the jury. That's disappointing, but the mere fact that someone lied doesn't change the truth, and the truth is that the practice of medicine is grounded in the principles of science, and if there's nothing in the literature to support doing blood counts on these patients, then you don't do it. It's as simple as that. Thanks again for listening.